everyone, welcome to another Vlogmas. I cannot believe Christmas is literally in a few days time. There'll be a couple of more Vlogmases vlog by before um, the end of the year. And as per the title of the video, I'm in Covent Garden. I'm actually on my way to meet with a mate. We're just gonna go for a casual lunch in Soho, um, lunch, dinner. And I've got a little bit of time and I didn't think I was gonna make it to Covent Garden. Most Londoners don't really come to Covent Garden. So I thought I would leave work on time and come down and uh, do a little vlog before I head to dinner. Now this is a weeknight so bear that in mind. I'm expecting it to be really really busy or as I like to say carnage. That's one of my favourite words um, but we, we shall see. I think some of the decorations are similar to last year but I, I don't think I came here last year from Vlogmas. Um, and there's a um, yeah music performer. That's gonna be fun editing later with the audio, but um, I'll do my best if there is music. Um, yeah, these places can end up being really loud or really quiet. So, oh, this looks so magical. And it's snowing, so each hour, I think it is, um, there is snow. There's a little bit of snow, and there is this awesome um, Frozen setup. Nice photo op. For Frozen, the musical, which I went and saw a few weeks ago. But yeah, it's pumping out. Oh, there's some yeah, snow, no. but the bagpipes have shut up now. I can actually hear myself think. But yeah, oh, it's not really coming out on camera, but it looks really pretty. We've got a little Lego pop up here as well. Welcome to the Carousel of Creativity. Yeah, and there's a little Lego Santa, a massive Lego Santa. Then we've got this cool carousel with, um, yeah, some fun little displays on each one. And outside the Royal Opera House, I've never been. They've got these toy soldiers or nutcrackers as I got heavily uh, corrected on in one of my previous vlogs. Quite a nice little photo up there as well. But yes, it is absolutely uh, rammed over there. And this is just a part of London where people don't really know where they're walking. <laughs> it's a very heavy tourist area, but nothing wrong with that. But being a Londoner, yeah, we tend to avoid these areas. some Christmas igloos. This is Ramsbury Forest Domes in Covent Garden. Uh, the ultimate Christmas dining experience and I'm, I know these are quite popular now, there's quite a lot around the country. Um, but yeah, book early. These probably got booked up. I mean, I dread to think when. But how sweet do they look? They're all enjoying their little, their vino, their cocktails and you can have a little photo outside. And if you are coming to see Frozen, it's literally do, 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 over here. Um, yeah, super near. So if you're coming to see that, definitely come and grab food. And I said this in one of my previous vlogs, it will look different when you come. It changes all the time here. Well, those guys have got a good seat in the sleigh. We've got Franklin and Sons. Looks like a nice little food pop up. Got some food booths. Let's just go in, let's have a look. We've got fried chicken, chicken and chips for a tanner. We've got halloumi fries, which looks like they are six and eight pounds, depending on the size of the portion. And then our actual um, Christmas bar. Yes, I know you guys like a menu. So basically a tanner for like a cocktail, uh, 9 50 for a double. I mean, you can read. Everyone's pretty like, how much is a beer? Oh, there we go, a pint 6.50 or 6. That's about normal for London now. They've got these little booths to sit at, which are really, really sweet. I'm trying to show you, but there's actually a lot of people here. I don't want to film people too much. Yeah, that's adorable. I didn't know that was going to be here. They've only got like a little bit of seating. Um, but yeah, it's a weeknight. It's not too horrendous. You can really stand and have a drink. I'm basically going to loop around the outside and then we'll go through the middle, which is where all the really pretty decorations are. And if you remember rightly, there's like big disco ball, ball ball looking decorations. Oh, this is making me so hungry. Maybe I'll grab a, a cheeky little mulled wine to take with me. Um, it's quite difficult with the camera, but there are lots of outdoor uh, restaurants here, which are always here. And then you have the old market, which honestly I haven't been in forever. Um, has got some really bright decorations. I really like that. They're, I mean, they're quite the contrast to the other side. If I pan round slowly, you can see all the pretty garlands sparkling up there. Ooh, yeah, I can see some sparkles in there. We'll go in a second, I promise. And we might have time to go to Trafalgar Square and see the tree, but look at 
this tree. It looks amazing. I don't think I've ever seen it at night. So yeah, some of the outdoor seating um, has a really wonderful atmosphere. Definitely book in advance and then up the top. I mentioned before, the Punch and Judy um, pub or bar up there. Definitely want to book. They're literally on that balcony. What a fantastic view they have. And it's a lovely, kind of mild evening. Is a pretty tough so song. You're gonna never get super out. exciting. I cover them and I want you to enjoy it. Now you can sit back for a lap so do all of the work here. But at the end of this little juggle, I will try my best to catch all five of these balls in one hand. If that works, that's the cue everyone to clap and cheer as a team will turn this into a sh in one hand. I'll keep an eye out and see if he doesn't leave with fire. Gotta get a little bit nearer to the tree. Oh, it probably doesn't look that exciting on camera, but it's absolutely stunning. I mean, the little twinkly bits make such a difference, and they are twinkling along with all of the garlands. Oh, bright floodlights in there. He wasn't getting the fire out yet, so we've moved on a little bit, and we've got another booth here, Dirty Martini, which is um, like a bar. I think, I think it might be a chain, um, but you've got hot cocktails, ooh, for eight fifty, um, and then some mixes as well for eight fifty. So that's not too bad, and a little hot chocolate moment. So yeah, we look, we like alcohol in the UK. What can I say? Oh, this looks so fantastic. I love it. And mistletoe. See that one moving slightly in the wind. It looks so magical. And um, yeah, on the level ground, there's further restaurants and bars. We just like to eat and drink. I mean, why not? have done some funky, awesome interpretations. I'll only show you these a little bit. I know some people aren't Disney fans. But how cool is that? So there's some little plinths and a whole exhibition outside. Okay, I'm not buying any chocolate in this vlog. I need to stop with the chocolate. Every other shop is a chocolate shop. Okay, I'm, I'm doing really well. I'm not buying anything. And then in this section, we've basically just been doing a zigzag. Um, you have got the actual market stalls in here, which are packing up. I think it's about, uh, coming up to 6.30. And uh, yeah, we've got the same mass. I mean, this bauble, hold on, is absolutely massive. I can't really give it a scale. I mean, it's bigger than my car, for sure. Yeah, this is the Apple Market. I guess it's like the traditional, the original market that was here. Gonna be honest, I'm not sure if this is somewhere I would go at the weekend. <laughs> so if you're watching this, actually by the time I've uploaded this, I think the last weekend would have happened. Um, but yeah, horribly one to try and get in um, on a weeknight anyway. <laughs> Oh, this restaurant is on the list maybe to go one day. It's really, it's very expensive, but it's really romantic. Look at the decorations, they look so cute. Let's go and have a sneak by Peterson's Nurseries. They've got this little courtyard out here, which is always very magical. Just sneaking through there, there is a little outdoor terrace and a full-on full restaurant inside. Uh, yeah, lots of people are getting pictures, but they've got some pretty lights over the top. Considering this is in proper central London, it's really nice. And all the lovely Christmas trees. Oh, this is a really good place. I have to add this to a list of places to come and eat. 
everyone's getting a picture of this massive elephant. Um, I think this is usually here. Now, I haven't shown you all of Covent Garden. I'm sure some Londoners are watching this like, you haven't shown all of it, Hannah. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to go down to Trafalgar Square because I never really go down that way. Um, but apparently the tree is interesting. I don't know if that means it's a bit rubbish, um, but there's also a little Christmas market. I love just walking through London and there's so many random little streets that have got Christmas lights. Let me just zoom in. You can see it's a little like candle with flicky lights, flickering lights. It doesn't look so exciting on camera, but it's really cool. Yeah, it is theatre show time and the English National Ballet. I don't know what this theatre is actually called, if I'm honest with you. Um, these wreaths look absolutely gorgeous all the way to the top. Love the lights. And just like that, I am at Trafalgar Square. That was literally like a four, five minute walk from Covent Garden, um, but I need to, yeah, be around the corner for dinner shortly but we've got a little bit of a christmas market i have been asked a lot like where are the christmas markets in london i'm gonna be honest with you like there aren't that many um it's not something that's really really taken off um i know europe is known for their amazing christmas markets i wouldn't i wouldn't say you want to come to london for a christmas market because it's just not quite it um i've been to one down on the south bank I think I've been to all of them. I think this is the main one if you Google one. This is like the best one. I mean, it looks good. Honestly, if you're with your mates, it doesn't really matter, but there's definitely other things to do in London. If you're wondering, that is the uh, National Gallery, and then I think it's the Portrait Gallery that's linked to it. Um, that's not a free museum. You do have to pay. I might do some free museums in January and February. Um, i probably go to those anyway in normal time, so I might vlog it for you. Um, but uh, the setup here is really, really pretty. You've got a bit of a mix of like touristy, crap if i'm honest um some lovely jewelry and i'm sure there's going to be some food bits so i can see a sign it says mini pancakes um already over there so it's always nice to have a little bit of a mooch isn't it and there is a choir down here um i think it says pop choir my eyesight so look isn't too fantastic this is pop choir right i love the little outfits um yeah so we're gonna have a little Oh, listen for a moment. Ooh, and here's the tree. Um, oh, it looks a bit bad. That's terrible grandma. Oh, Nelson, you're right out there. Um, why did they do the lights like that? It looks terrible. They should have done them wrapped around. Oh dear. That was really sweet. And yeah, we've got some food. Oh, I'm really hungry. Um, I can't really get like a snack, can I? No, we better not. Uh, we've got a little chocolate fountain thing over there. And then yeah, outside the National Gallery, we've got all the drinks you need. They've done this really nicely. I'm quite impressed actually. I thought it was gonna be a bit naff, but it's like nice naff. gonna just wait for the um, the pop choir to do another little sing song and then I'm just gonna go ahead and head over to Soho to meet my friend we're literally going into Chinatown just having some like fun cheap like Chinese food which is what we need in the middle of the week um, yeah so if you are enjoying these um, vlogs let me know um, I put everything in a playlist and they've got a playlist for last year as well and I think I did vlog this two years ago as well anyway and everything is also shoved in an everything in London um, playlist which are wacky in the description um in the like the little box below but i think i can get words out now i think there'll be two more vlogs 
next week or this week whenever I upload this and then I will see you in the new year so a couple more to stick around for um, but yeah I'm gonna love and leave you like and subscribe if you want to do so and I will see you in a few days time Merry Christmas <laughs>